These days, your broadband's probably fast enough for you to watch two or three different TV programmes at the same time. But if you've ever experienced buffering or delays or glitches, you know it doesn't always work out that way. So what's the problem? Well, firstly, your broadband speed only applies to your local connection to the internet. It doesn't mean you've got that much capacity all the way between you and the TV content that you want to watch. And a bit like driving, your local road might be clear of traffic, but the long-distance highway you need to reach your final destination might be really congested. And in this case, what's congesting it is probably other people trying to watch TV at the same time as you. When we delivered TV using satellite or a wireless transmitter, each channel was broadcast everywhere. As long as you could receive the signal, you could tune in, and it didn't matter whether one person watched it or millions. When the first generation of IPTV came along, it was much the same. The show was sent as a stream of data packets over an IP network. A single stream was sent for each channel, and the data was duplicated at every network branch. This is called multicast traffic, and the viewer still effectively tuned in to the channel they wanted to watch. It doesn't matter how many people watch the same show, it still only has to be sent once. So why the problem? Well, we don't want to watch TV like that anymore. We want to watch shows whenever we like. We might want to pause live TV, start watching a live programme a few minutes after it started, or rewind bits. And advertisers want their ads to be relevant just for us. And now we also watch on different types of devices too, each one needing the TV stream to be sent in a different format. So we can't just tune in to the same TV stream that everyone else is watching. Each TV stream needs to be unique and tailored just for us. And this is called unicast traffic. Now to watch a unicast HD TV show uses about 3 megabits of network capacity per viewer. So a million unicast viewers need 3 million megabits of network capacity. And when they upgrade to 4K TV, they'll be using 12 million megabits. Even the fastest fiber optic links that deliver internet traffic usually only run at 100,000 megabits. So we'll need over 100 times more capacity than the fastest links in the internet just for one reasonably popular show. It simply won't work. So how do we solve this problem? That's where Edgeware comes in. Edgeware's technology can keep a copy of the most popular TV shows close to the viewer. The copy only needs to be sent out once across the network, but can be played many times over whenever other viewers want to watch it. So now, most of the TV you watch only needs to be streamed to you from your local Edgeware system, not across the whole network. The Edgeware systems can also insert personalised ads, pause live TV and stream the TV show in the right format for all the different devices you use, without the need to go back to the source and fetch lots of different versions. Of course, this saves huge amounts of network costs, but more importantly, it also delivers TV without buffering, delays or glitches, delivering an amazing TV experience.